and welcome back guys I'm uh, starting a new series today it is the how to mine imitator or mine emitter whatever you want to call it how to on this I've just downloaded it today I've uh, looked around found a couple tutorials figured I'd make one of my own just to add to uh, the whole tutorial list so I will uh, add a link to in the description below of uh, the download for this. So what it is, is it's like a flash animator, except it's already loaded with Minecraft graphics and such. So let's get started. First of all, we've got our cameras. Um, left circle moves around from the point you are looking at. Um, if When you let go, if you're not holding anything, um, it shows all the camera options up here. So mouse wheel is your zoom. Um, right click, kind of just look around like if I were standing here, I can just look from one point. Oh man, sorry, my throat was killing me. Right click, uh, hold right click, and you can move around. Um, there are keys to go up and down, which is right click Q and E. Um, but if I just want to go up, I can look up, you know, it's kind of like flying. I can just kind of fly around using W, using W, A to sideswipe. D has to go backwards, so Q goes down, E goes up. And then if I get just so lost in what I'm doing, I can hold control and left click and it resets it back to the spawn point. So there's your camera options. Now, to, in order to animate something, you're going to need some objects. So if you look here on the right hand side, you can actually unlock these and move them around. Um, actually, it makes it like, it's like your uh, pop-up menu, you can make it so it automatically disappears. Um, but we're going to keep this on for now. So, characters. I'm going to add. Now, of course, it spawns in default Steve. Looking good, Steve, looking good. Um, but say I wanted to use my Ski Dude skin. I would click on skin here on the right side. Browse. It opens up the Minimator. I'm just going to call it the Minimator um, folder. I've added my skin, um, my skins to this folder so I don't have to go look around my computer. So I have it right here, Skier. I've actually edited this a little bit since the last time you guys have seen me. I've uh, added my gray belt, zipper, took my hat down a little bit, and I uh, changed a couple of his facial features. Nothing big. Anyway, so he is in. And. I want to give him a name, so he is Ski Dude. Now you'll notice, bleh, now you'll notice, once I add a character, it adds it down here to the timeline. So now I can click on Ski Dude, and you'll see down here, um, this is the timing where you're going to add different animations. So now we have a Ski Dude down here. So, um, we don't want Ski Dude to be alone, so let's give him a friend. Um, we're going to go to default. Brows, skins, Mr. Snowman. Now, the spawn area spawns everything in on this one block. So, um, if I'm spawning in like five people at a time, it's just going to stack them in on each other, which isn't a bad thing. You can move them. Um, or I can click here. Oh, that's not doing what it says it's doing. Oh, that's uh, taking it away from the timeline down here, so I can actually, if I have them in there, but I actually don't want to do anything with them, I can uh, unselect him, and he is no longer down here on the timeline, but we're going to keep them on there. Uh, we're going to change him to Snowman. Alright, we have our two characters. So, let's move these characters around a little bit. Let's uh, start with Ski Dude. So I have Ski Dude here, I click him, so he's selected. And I'm going to add a keyframe. Keyframe is just a point of movement. Um, so if I click here at the very beginning, it has a keyframe. And you'll see now I have this yellow person box and all these numbers and positions and stuff. Um, this is how you animate and move your players. So let's uh, move Mr. Ski Dude so we can see him. So let's go to position. So right now the whole body is selected. If I click in individual spots, um, I can animate individual things. However, we want his full body. 
you have your XY, your XZ, and your YZ. If you click on that, it just lets you move it to the different parts of the graph. So XY, and I'm kind of rusty on this, I did just get it today. This is moving him down the X slope. Now I can zoom in and out on this graph thing because if I'm moving him across the map, you know, I'm going to want to, you know, I'm going to want to zoom out. Um, but if I'm just making very, very small movements and I want to be somewhat zoomed in, so a lot of movement is a little movement for him. So let's move him out to the side. Alright. Ski Dude and Snowman are standing next to each other. Now since I'm going to be spawning in a couple more items, I don't want to keep the Snowman where he is. So I'm going to click slow, Snowman down here. Add a keyframe at zero. So this is his rest state. And I'm going to move him past Ski Dude over here. So now they are standing side by side. Out of the spawn area. So when I spawn in a couple more blocks, we uh, will be stacking stuff on each other. So we've got our characters, now let's add a couple items. So I'm just, if I'm clicking on, to, to edit these, I can click on these little diamonds here. So if I want to edit Ski Dude, I'll click on that little diamond. If I want to edit Snowman, I'll click on that little green diamond. Now if I just want to add another object, you'll see I'm stuck on Snowman's option, so I'll just click I'm just going to click his name. I'm sure there are other places you can click, but I'm clicking his name to reset my click. And I'm going to go to Objects, Add. Now you'll see there's a spawn point. It's already got the uh, leather helmet picked by default. Um, what I want to do is I'm going to give Ski Dude a shovel. So I'm going to, let's give him a gold shovel. So I'm going to click the gold shovel. I want to make sure it's 3D. Um, if it's flat image, it's just paper thin. That's why I want to keep it at 3D. I'm going to rename it Gold Shovel. And as you see, since I added it, gave it a name, it's now down here on the timeline, Gold Shovel, so I can animate it if I want. However, I'm going to make this a little bit easier. Um, say I just want my guy to carry it like he would in the game. I can uh, click here, right here at the bottom. When you have the item selected you want to edit, you do lock to character or object. So I'm going to click that. Some boxes appear. Parent is going to be Ski Dude. And part, I can actually hook it to his right arm. And you'll say, well, that's not right why is, you know, it's not in his hand. It's stuck to his right arm. Um, now we just have to move it down to his hand and it will be stuck there for good. So what we're going to do is going to add a keyframe for Mr. Gold Shovel. Click down there. And we are going to go to first let's rotate it. Now you got your XYZs. I'm a little rusty on these like I said, so if I start spinning the wrong one, forgive me. Alright, that's the right one. Z. So we want to flip it to a 90 degree angle from what it was. So now it's perfectly 90 degrees. Zoom in a little bit. I'm actually going to reposition the camera there. All right, so we've rotated it how we want it. We want the position down now. So that's bringing it forward. Let's see, we want the uh, X, Y, we want the Z axis. So we can go down. And let's see, so it's the z-axis, y, Oop. move it in, a little bit, sorry I'm making this harder than it needs to be, I'm going to do this from the top. Okay, that looks about centered as far as his arm goes. So we just need to Oop. wrong ones. Z. Okay, 
want to move it back. Alright. Now, let's see if I can pick the right one. Let's see. XZ. There we go. Alright, I'm holding it in my hand. I know I haven't looked at Minecraft, so I don't know exactly how they hold it, but that looks about right. I'm actually. We can go into tilt it for just a smidgen. There we go. So, I now have a shovel. Now, the cool thing about this, if you remember, um, click right here, objects, gold shovel. If you'll notice, I locked it to my right arm. So now, if I go to Ski Dude, click my keyframe here, uh, click on my right arm, and I move my arm in whatever way you want to move it, the shovel stays where I put it because it is locked in place. So now I can make a mining or a digging motion and it will all, I won't have to animate the shovel and the hand at the same time. I can just animate my hand or my right arm if you will and it moves the shovel with it. So, there we go. Um, one thing I just remembered that I forgot to add, um, when you're holding right click and you're using WASD and you're moving around, it moves kind of fast. Um, say, you know, I'm just coming in but I want to make, just come in a little bit and I tap W, you know, that's moving me in a lot. If I actually hold shift, does it slower? If I hold space bar, does it faster? So, Mr. Ski Dude has a shovel. And Mr. Snowman is just standing there all cool like. So let's review what we've gone over for this video. We've gone over basic camera controls. We've gone over how to add a character, which is click the character drop down. Add. You can give him a name. You can use the default skin. You can browse. Find a skin you want. These villagers, cat skins, all came with Minecraft. Uh, I mean, with this uh, program. I added my skier and my uh, snowman. Looks like he actually has hero brain in here, so we'll change it to that. Um, model. <laughs> you can use the same skin, but pick a different. Uh, model so it's folding it like a cow. Um, that's that's just for fun I guess. But we're gonna... zombies the same? We're going... alright get inside. Keep it human. So add. Um, characters I can do the same thing. Say well you know what I just want to keep those two in uh, this animation so I'm going to remove Mr. Harrowbreen. We've gone to objects. We've added a gold shovel. We've uh, moved it where we want it using the uh, keyframe controls down here, rotation and position. Um, we'll go over these other uh, options a little bit later in another video. Um, and yeah, we've learned how to lock it to a character or an object. I can actually change this to the snowman and what do you know, it's already in his hand. Um, but we will keep it with Ski Dude. And I can s to his head. <laughs> no bad placement there. Let's see if it works if I just switch it to his left arm. Yeah, so it just mirrors it to his left arm, so we're good to go there. Hat, right leg. Anyway, so yeah, that's what we've gone over today, and we'll call that video one.